All that means is you guys can take your hand, you push down on your skin, it should kind of turn white, and you watch that whiteness turn back to normal fluffy color. We do the same thing on their gums, just as another rule for a second. So I'll do that right now, and you can be very good. Just kind of curl up his up a little bit in his little teeth. Does that make you put your color? Yeah, that's nice and pink. You can see it's nice and shiny. I can put down on it, and I can barely tell that it was white. It flashes back really quickly. You want them to turn back to nice pink color in less than two seconds. The latest capillary refill time can give us, you know, just two good rules of them, especially the ones that are ill, sick, respiratory <coughs> issues, with the colic issues, and all is it always that easy to get up on the stand for that? No, no, no. Especially when they're not feeling well. It's even even harder to do that. Yeah, thank you for that one of them. Another thing I'll do is a skin tech. And what that does is is their hydration level. Horses that are colicky, horses that are just sick, or horses that have a choking will lose a lot of food. And the nice way to just assess how long hydrated they are, very simple. Just give them a little pinch and let go. You see how that skin gets right back. You can do it to yourself. It should be very elastic and it should suck back. If it stays pending for a delayed period of time, a little bit longer period of time, it's one of the rules that you know, they are slightly dehydrated and probably will need either us to tooth them with some water, because we can't tell if it's just water. We just don't make it very well. Um, or sometimes we give them IV too. So moving on, we're going to do a pulse. <coughs> so the easiest way to do a pulse if you have a cheap stethoscope is to listen to their heart. Their heart is best heard actually on the other side, right basically in their armpit, right in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's so okay. Mm -hmm. We have people close, I don't want to turn around. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you're going to listen to when you have a step scope. The other way to get a pulse is actually to feel their pulse. And this time of year and in the winter time it's a little bit harder because they're all kind of furry. But there's a vessel just under their cheeks right here that you can feel. You just feel underneath, you can kind of feel a little band of vessel there. And you put these two fingers on there like boy scouts, two boy scouts there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. And you feel, and you can feel the pulse, you can feel the blood pressure. And what I do is I count how many times I can feel that pulse go through in 15 seconds. They don't usually want to stand quiet for more than, you know, 5 seconds. So in 15 seconds, I just take that number that I get, so I'll take the pulse. She's got a nice one too. <coughs> Alright, so I got the number 8. Felt the pulse go 8 times in 15 seconds. I take that and multiply it by 4 so I can get the number of beats per minute. And that's the number we use to figure out what normal is. So 8 is about, that's about 32, 36. So perfectly normal. Normal for a horse about 30 to 40. Anything in the 50s or 60s is a friend for us that we're concerned about how painful they are. Horses' heart rates will actually go up when they're painful. Sometimes you can get them in the 120s and very scary for the horse, very scary for us when that happens. So that's the pulse. Respiratory rate is easy. You can stand here and you watch their thighs. And you count how many times did they take a breath? in 15 seconds. And just like with the heart rate, multiply it by four. So now we've got some really good basic parameters. We have gum color, hydration, heart rate, respiratory rate, and now we're going to get a temperature. As I said before, safety is always, always a good thing to do. Temperature standing behind a horse, you guys who've been around here know it's not usually good to stand behind a horse. Thermometers are tiny, especially when you think about when we help pay horses, especially pregnant when we have to help with the whole arm. It's amazing to think that a tiny little thermometer would bother them. But some horses do get sensitive with it. So it's always good to stay next to the horse here. Move their tail back. There we go. See, even he doesn't like 